With the release of Spider-Man getting closer by the day, we all knew it was only a matter of time before Sony and Insomniac Games would reveal the custom PS4 that would launch alongside the title on September 7th. And today, during San Diego Comic-Con, not only did we get a new story trailer, but we got our first look at the limited edition PS4 Pro Spider-Man system. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, is it hot? Is it fire? Do I need to go and reserve this at GameStop right now? Or is it trash like every other PS4 custom console this generation? Well, let's talk about it, shall we? What's going on, guys? Randall419, man with a million, back again with another video. And I'll have the link to the PlayStation blog if you want to take a look and read through this all yourself and take a look at these pictures of this limited edition PS4 Pro. But of course, I'll have those up on screen as well so you can marvel at what this system looks like. And I'm sure you're everybody's out there wondering, hey, Rand, do you like this one? Because you've been pretty vocal about how Sony's custom consoles this generation have been lacking. And it is true. Uh, they don't really do much for their custom consoles. I didn't like the God of War one. I thought the Call of Duty World War II one was, uh, to quote OBJ, straight trash. I, I didn't exactly, you know, say it how he says it, but you know what I'm saying. But honestly, when I first got the glimpse of this console, like, hey man, Sony nailed this one. I really like the red on the console, but I think what really makes it is that Spider-Man logo. Like, there's no words on it, and there doesn't need to be. All you need is just that Spider-Man logo on there to just... Everybody understands exactly what they're getting here. And it's a beautiful looking console. And this is what the blog article has to say about it. This special, special bundle includes a fully customized, amazing red one terabyte PS4 Pro console featuring the iconic Marvel's Spider-Man Spider, a matching DualShock 4 wireless controller, Marvel's Spider-Man game on Blu-ray disc and digital content. This limited edition bundle will be available across the US and Canada for $399.99 or $400, $499 Canadian, I guess. Pre-orders start today. And uh, they, they did give a little bit of details about what you can expect when you play Spider-Man on your uh, 4K television. They go on to say, On PS4 Pro, 4K TV owners can experience Marvel Spider-Man in 2160p dynamic 4K resolution, achieved through temporal injection that showcases intricate details of the architecture of Marvel's New York and detailed Marvel characters. HD TV owners will benefit from the game's built-in super sampling, with increased image clarity and detail. Meanwhile, if your TV supports high dynamic range, which is HDR, you'll experience vibrant special effects like Mr. Negative's negative powers and brilliant lighting across a picturesque Manhattan. Oh man, we're getting close. We're two months away, less than two months away at this point. It's July 19th as of this recording. The game comes out on September 7th. Uh, it's my most anticipated title for the rest of the year. It was my most anticipated title for the entire year, if you guys recall, when I made that video back in early January. So I am pumped for Spider-Man. And man, you know what? If I didn't own a PS4 Pro already, I would be seriously considering picking up this system because I like how it looks. It's very... It's... What's the word I'm looking for here? Um, it's very simple, but it's very effective. You see, I thought they were doing too much with the God of War system. The God of War system, uh, you know, with with Kratos's axe being on it and all the different ruins. I thought the camo stuff for the Call of Duty World War II system was just ugly, but this is simple and effective. You know, it's Spider-Man by just looking at it. You see the logo, you see the red color, and you know exactly what it is. It doesn't need to be anything else. Now, the controller on the other hand, I'm not that big of a fan of. I don't know, I don't think red looks good on that controller. Although I do like the white buttons uh, for the triangle, the circle, the X, and the square. But, I mean, honestly, it's just, 
It's just the console that looks gorgeous. It's definitely their best one they've done. And that's one of the things you can always count on Sony to do. When they have a big exclusive, they go all out, not only with their marketing. We all remember Sony's marketing for God of War and how effective that was and how amazing God of War was. Not only in critical reception, but commercial reception. We're talking five million in a month. They were advertising all over the place. It was everywhere. You couldn't escape God of War. And I expect the same to be true for Spider-Man when it launches on September 7th. It's probably gonna drown out uh, the marketing for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, unfortunately, another game I'm really looking for forward to, but September belongs to Spider-Man, the biggest superhero in the world, and that's coming from a Batman fan. Like, I am a gigantic Batman fan, but I know worldwide nobody touches the appeal of Spider-Man. And, you know, I've had conversations with friends. Uh, could Spider-Man outsell God of War? Could Spider-Man be one of the best-selling games of the holiday? holiday? Could it outsell even Red Dead Redemption? Yes, I've had that conversation with somebody who shall we name nameless, <coughs> Fonz. Um, <laughs> And we were going back and forth uh, because there's a lot of hype behind this title. It's exclusive, so people are, are naturally more inclined to be excited for it. That's just how exclusives really work. They got the Marvel name behind it, which is at its highest point right now after Infinity War is just released and is making over like $2 billion. So the Marvel name brings in those casual bucks, those casual viewers. And uh, you have Spider-Man, the biggest superhero in the world. Looks like an amazing game. Of course, we have to wait for reviews to see if it actually is going to be because, you know, we don't know yet. But I have a feeling this game is going to do extremely well review-wise. I'm pegging it right now at about an 88 or an 89, right on that 90 mark. And I think Insomniac has maybe their best-selling title ever. Like, I expect this game to be a monster. And then you combine it with this limited edition PS4 Pro, and it's interesting that they went with the Pro for this version and not uh, the PS4 Slim. If you recall, the Call of Duty World War II bundle was a Slim version, the God of War bundle was a Pro version, and Spider-Man is a Pro version, so it's always interesting to see what kind of demographic they're chasing after. Obviously, they're going after the high-end user here, the one who probably owns a bunch of PlayStations already. Uh, maybe a Spider-Man fan who isn't a PlayStation owner yet. Get him into the ecosystem. Because uh, it is an expensive bundle. It's $400. Uh, the PS4 Pro at this point is what? Over two years old or at least will be two years old when this bundle releases. So it's a tad bit expensive of $400. But you do get the game. The game is $60. Bucks. All in all, I think it's a pretty good uh, price for what you're getting with uh, the console. And... Uh, I think Spider-Man is going to surprise a lot of people. I think it's going to sell more than people expect. I guess that really goes to what your expectations are. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this one fares against God of War. That's kind of where the, the litmus test that I'm looking at here. Because God of War blew everyone's expectations away for a single player only title. And this is very similar. It's a single player only title. Yes, it's coming out in the holiday. Yes, it has more competition. We have Shadow of the Tomb Raider the week after. You have the Destiny 2 expansion that a lot of people are excited for uh, the following month. You got Call of Duty Black Ops 4. You got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You have Red Dead Redemption 2. You got Battlefield 5. There's Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox. There's Fallout 76 in November. Hitman 2. Uh, Walking Dead's uh, new game and, and things like that. So there's tons of games coming out. Uh, so the competition's definitely going to be fiercer, tougher, uh, but like I said earlier, Sony's going to go all out. This is their game for the holidays, and we, we know that they will market this like none other. They will definitely put this all over TV, it'll be all over YouTube, it'll probably be posters on sides of buildings. And then once those reviews come in, probably a week before the title releases, because um, I, I would imagine they're probably pretty high on this game, Spider-Man Hysteria is going to take into effect. And people are going to talk about it. And of course, we all know that 
it definitely more than likely has November NPD on lock, because why wouldn't it? Nothing really else is coming out that month for Nintendo or Xbox uh, that would sway anything. So PlayStation is going to win that month and probably win more than likely worldwide on the strong, uh, the strong, t this strong title as well as others. But um, man, just watching the new story trailer, uh, you know, the, the 2018 E3 showing and you just get the sense that Sony is extremely confident with this title and that come September 7th, they will have a grin that stretches from ear to ear. Now, even thinking further along the lines of how this exclusive title compares to the other ones like God of War and Last of Us, I actually do feel that this one has the potential to cross demographics, or at least bring in people who are non-gamers or casuals who really aren't interested in the God of Wars or the Uncharted's. Think about all the people that play Fortnite, for example. Millions and millions of people that play Fortnite. And I s and you know that a lot of them don't care one bit for any of the exclusives on Xbox or PlayStation. But you know what they might care about? They might care about Spider-Man because he is a worldwide icon. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is stronger than it's ever been, especially after the release of Avengers. So you have this perfect storm coming it's the first big title out this holiday. It's got a great release date. You have an amazing developer behind it, Insomniac. Uh, you know, after Sunset Overdrive didn't do very well, you knew they wanted to come back with the bang and prove why, they're, why, why they are one of the best independent developers out there. You have Sony, who just knows how to market things and get people hyped for their games. You throw all that into a pot, and what you have is potentially a recipe for ridiculous success. Bigger success than any of the previous exclusives ever brought to Sony. Maybe it reaches some of those Fortnite gamers, some of those PUBG gamers, some of the Madden gamers out there. Spider-Man has the potential to cross into that demographic, where I feel that God of War and Last of Us just couldn't. Will, will it actually happen? I don't know. Maybe I'm just kind of spitballing here and it won't. And Spider-Man will just do okay. But I don't know. I think there's something special with this title. And personally, I can't wait to play it on September 7th. I'm super excited. And I hope you are as well. So let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Do you like the brand new system? Do you like how it looks? Do you like the red? Uh, and um, let me know if you're excited for the game. Leave a comment, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell, hit the sub, bell, sub icon, you know how this all goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.